this draft that we've uh, that uh, Mike Omier has prepared for us, who is the township's attorney. The correct me if I'm wrong. Is the draft ordinance on the township web? Does anybody know that? Is Suggested that someone was going to do, but I don't know if they did. No. Okay. I haven't checked. The, um, the, the point that I was trying to make is that for anybody that would like to have that, I, I believe it's on the web now, the proposed wording for this draft that we're preparing. If not, I'll make a note to check that to see if that is, if, and I'll uh, check with. Uh, our webmaster and get that put on before the next meeting. Stephanie? No, what is her name? Tiffany. Tiffany, Tiffany yes. Um, but for those on the commission, it, I think it's on the first blank that we have is in uh, page 14. General, it's under the general requirements. Yeah, the, the utility scale. Yeah. Well, fellas, we've uh, had a lot of time to talk about this. We've heard a lot of testimony. And I think it's, uh, at least I'm prepared to make a motion about filling in the blanks on the uh, noise limits on that page. Reg, can I share your copy over here? We're at uh, page 14, section F, audible sound. We're talking about utility scale. Um, wind energy facilities. And I have a motion that I'd like to make if Mr. Carp Car doesn't object, object. It's rather lengthy. I have a copy for each of the members of the board. I can put it in the minutes and I'll just read it carefully. Uh, December 6, 2010, I move that. Whereas UV wind claims a 55 decibel and 1,000 foot setback from residences as the quote industry standard. And Mr. Peter Goldberg of Tech Environmental of Waltham, Massachusetts, on the behalf of Great Lakes Wind, claims that 45 decibels and 1,320 feet is the industry standard. And further, that the same Mr. Peter Goldberg of Tech Environmental of Waltham, Massachusetts, states in his 2006 testimony before the State of Vermont Public Service Board regarding a proposed cluster of 26 2 megawatt turbines, similar to those proposed in Riga, that, quote, it is likely that highly annoying impulse noise, described as a rhythmic thump, described as distant pile driving, will be audible in the evening at sensitive receptors within two kilometers or 1.2 miles of the turbines, which includes the King George School and many residences. This impulse noise would substantially impact public health and aesthetics in the very quiet rural area where the wind park is proposed, end quote. We conclude that there is no meaningful industry standard. Whereas the state of Oregon uses a noise limit of 36 dBA throughout the state for all industry, and it does not inhibit the construction of turbines, and even at that level there are nuisance noise complaints. Whereas nighttime noise limits of 40 dBA and less are common throughout Europe. Whereas noise complaints in the UK are common with noise limits of 45 dBA, and we wish not to create such a nuisance in our township. Whereas in the United Kingdom, the firm of Hayes McKenzie on behalf of the British government made a draft recommendation to lower noise standards from 45 dBA there to 38 dBA when there was no swish component to the noise and 33 dBA when there was in order to reduce the ongoing complaints concerning turbine noise. That was removed politically, by the way, that uh, draft recommendation. Whereas Reading Township's Planning Commission draft ordinance proposes in cons consultation with renowned community noise expert Rick James of Okemos, a 40 dBA noise limit inside the overlay district and 35 dBA outside the overlay district. Whereas we heard personal testimony from a resident of Michigan who lives within 1,400 feet of three smaller turbines who has unresolved ongoing nuisance noise issues with a 45 dBA noise limit. Whereas Stigwood in 2008 has shown that large turbines, hub heights between 50 and 100 meters, are more likely than smaller turbines, hub height of 30 meters, 
to cause excessive amplitude modulation, increased likelihood of low frequency noise, and greater disturbance inside buildings, end quote. And he concludes that ETSU-R-97, from which the standard Mr. Goldberg referred to, IEC 61400-11, uh, those test procedures are derived from that European standard, which was developed for smaller turbines, is inappropriate for the large turbines here. That's in Hanning 2010, Wind Noise Study, Sleep and Health. Whereas the manufacturer of the turbines themselves, Vestas, recommends a relative sound limit in addition to a low fixed limit in quiet rural areas to diminish complaints about noise. And whereas our legal counsel advises that levels lower than 40 dBA may be difficult to defend in court, we hereby resolve to modify the draft ordinance language as follows. In the section labeled audible sound on the page I referenced, it should say, quote, sound emanating from the operation of a utility scale WBS, WEGF, or conditional use MET tower shall not exceed 40 dBA, and we will scratch the above the average lowest ambient sound level section. So it's going to be a 40 dBA fixed limit between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. measured at the closest property line of a non-participating parcel. During the hours of 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., uh, no utility scale shall exceed 45 dBA, which is what the developers have asked for. This sound pressure level may be exceeded during short-term events such as severe windstorms. If the ambient sound pressure level exceeds 45 dBA during the short-term events, the standard shall be ambient dBA plus 5 dBA and shall be measured from the nearest property line of a non-participating parcel. I so move. Excuse me. Yeah.